selling whiskey during the gold rush. That made him rich. He grub staked miners and got richer. He bought land, got even richer. Well, Josiah Kessel was a man of faith. Faith in his fellow man, faith in his country, faith in God. And he couldn't read or write. You notice the Bible's upside down? They tell me he never noticed it. And yet this man was the founder of Josiah Kessel College, where his portrait now hangs. Oh, I'm James K. Howard, the case for Kessel. Old Josiah's my grandfather. I teach here, anthropology. You know, it's ironic, a man couldn't read or write, build a college. Actually, he built a house. Back in the 1890s, it was a show place, a bit larger than a man with only one wife needed. It's a darn sight bigger. And now that our only daughter's married to that dude Howard from Yale, I'm turning this place over to the folks in town. What in the world for, Josiah? Because I want a college named after me, too. Too? Our fancy-talking new son-in-law says a tradesman named Eli Yale had his name for him. Well, he were no better tradesman than Josiah Kessel. Takes more than a house to make a college, Josiah. Takes land and money, too. I'll give him 40 acres and $10 million. Have we got 10 million? We got efforts of 30. Then why am I darning your socks? Because, woman, there's holes in them. Seventy-some odd years later, Josiah Kessel College has many more buildings, and the original acreage is the choicest real estate in Easy Valley, California. This scholarly pixie is the only Nobel Prize winner on campus. He's my closest friend, Dr. Luther Quince, a chemist. Oh, Luther! Isn't that my briefcase? I'd hate to think it was mine. You forgot it again. Oh, thank you very much. For once, I wish you'd remember your briefcase and forget that ridiculous old relic on your head. This relic, Luther, was worn by my grandfather when he greeted Jenny Lynn at the old Windsor Hotel. There was a crowd gathered beneath her balcony, and old Josiah filled this hat full of gold dust for the lady in exchange for one song from her dear sweet throat. Yeah, I've heard the story. It's all by. See you tonight. No, not tonight. My son and daughter-in-law come for dinner. All right.